Fuel injection. There's the key. There she goes. Some tune in, that's an old fuel injection system. You can hear it's hunting a bit, probably wants injected cleaners through it, but she ain't far away. She's got amps. Not sure about the oil pressure gauge, but I think they're working. Beep, beep. <laughs> These are the indicators. No, that was the light, that's the switch for the fan. The indicators are here, the check turn signals are here. See, working that side. There the turn signals. Obviously the speed all's there. about this car. This came in, came into my possession by via a bad debt. Someone owed me some money and I got this car. That was all I got. Uh, it uh, was made round about 69, 70 in California. It's still got, I've got the original California VIN number on it and I managed to get a completely free and clear legal title in Nevada. You can see where I had to put, for example, I had to put a wind, windshield wiper on it. I had to put uh, brake lights turn signals, seat belts, all the stuff to make it pass a roadworthy test. Once I got all that done, I started taking everything back off it, getting it ready for paint and this and that and the other. I wish that somebody out there had got any idea what this car is all about. If you look inside, you can see it's pretty much all aircraft technology. The single wheel and the steering is run by a pulley system, which you can see here and here. The steering actually feels remarkably solid. It's surprising how well it feels. I was told it was raced, and if you look at the back here, on this side, I'll show you what I mean. The Budweiser goes with the car, by the way. This is where they raced, where they had it for the oval track. They had the suspension here, so the car was on a permanent tilt. If you can understand what I'm saying, so it went round the oval. So they moved the suspension for the oval. It's, uh, it's fuel injected, and back in those days, I believe, as far as I'm aware, Volkswagen and Porsche were the same thing. I think it might be out of a uh, either a notchback Volkswagen, or because it's fuel injected, I tend to think it might have been out of the 914 uh, Porsche, which had the same flat engine. I think this used the same for the Volkswagen bus. This is a, one of those engines that just does everything. And, you, and it's actually been uh, mounted in reverse. It's a weird way that they've done it, so that they, so that they can get the direct drive off the off the axles. Uh, it's been running, I think you've seen it running on the road, I can fire it up again if you want, but uh, I've got no idea, no idea uh, who built this car, but every bit of it, every bit of it is, is uh, aluminum, you Americans say, aluminium, we say. Everything's been hand built, it, it was, there's nothing on this car that wasn't built by hand, it, it's, it's, it's a complete one-off, I've never found anybody yet who's ever seen anything like it, or knows what it is. It was apparently built to be a prototype. Some guy was gonna try and build a three-wheel, two-seater sports car, which the idea being because it's aluminum and so light, the car would be pretty fast. I was told this was clocked at 120 miles an hour from the guy that I got it from. I've no idea whether that's true. I've driven it at 60 miles an hour on the freeway, but after that, because it's all open, the cockpit's all open, and you're getting all the dirt off the road, kicking up in your eyes and stuff, I didn't wanna go any faster than that. But uh, it was supposedly, and the idea being that uh, at sort of 60 miles an hour on the freeway, you'd get something like 40, 45 to the gallon out of it because it's so light. The first time we changed the wheel on the front of this car, a couple of us got together and just lifted the front up and changed the wheel. A couple of things that, uh, that tell me how, uh, how technically sound it was. When it was built, we've, we've had to take the brakes off the front wheel because I'm, I'm trying to find parts for them. 
and the brakes on the front wheel, there's two separate systems, front and back, the brakes on the front wheel are air heart brakes. I went all over the internet trying to find new parts for them. They had three separate pistons and apparently air heart brakes were only used in, in 69, around that era in NASCAR. They were the best you could get at the time and that's what the guy put on the front of this car. It's got a radiator in the front for the oil cooler. So it was, you know, it, it could run cool when it was, when it was racing. Uh, it's obviously an air-cooled engine. Uh, when we first, when I first got hold of it, it, it hadn't been run for, I don't know. I, it's been in my possession for about 15 years. And for the first 10 years, it just sat in a piece of land on a friend of mine's like it is doing now, until I managed to get to, once I got the paperwork in my name, and then I decided it was worth spending a bit of money on. And I just had rewiring done. And actually, not much else done. The, the thing, once we cleaned it up and got some fresh gas in, it actually ran. And the steering works, and the brakes work, and the clutch works, and... You can see that the bumpers must have been specially made for it. It's got chrome bumpers on the front, flip-up headlights. It's got... this is the back bumper. As I say, I started taking everything off it, ready for paint and upholstery and things like that, but never got round to it. All these are the parts that were on it when I got it through an, an official uh, Nevada license. I had to put, of course, wing mirrors on it and turn signals on it. These are the grills for the back that the air intakes for the engine. What about these? These are pretty cool. These are the original ones that came with it. And I don't know where they fit in them, I think on the back somewhere. <laughs> I got a couple of... Uh, I got a couple of baby Webbers and, and stuff there. I was going to put twin Webbers on it myself when I, was going to, when I decided to run it. All these parts are obviously with the car. But I decided to leave the engine exactly original as it was because I think it's quite special. Fuel injection in those days was rare. And, uh, you know, for it to work, I think is as impressive as it is, just the fact that it runs and works. And it's legal. I'll, uh, I'll go and get my, uh, I'll get the Nevada title and show it you. It's completely legal, roadworthy. It's in my name. The main thing, I'd love it if anybody out there remembers this car or ever saw it race. I'm sure it was California. I'm sure it was built there. Round about 69, 70, I think. And if anybody has got any idea who built this car or what it's all about, it's definitely aircraft style technology in the front. And the fact that the, some of the parts that he used and built everything by hand, somebody spent a lot of time on this car. It's obviously not a kit car. Somebody built this whole thing by hand and I've never seen anything like it. And I wish somebody out there may have seen anything like it. Contact me, we'll get to all that, you know. Okay, uh, well now what I'm gonna show you is the Vittel identification, the VIN number and they gave me the original California VIN number that we tracked down that was with this car, but unfortunately it had dropped off all the records, we couldn't find anything out about it. But that is the original VIN number. That is my free and clear Nevada title for this vehicle. Three-wheeler, as you can see what it says on there. And uh, my name is John Needham, that's me and I own this car. Now, uh, in case we hadn't mentioned it before, we're in Las Vegas. It might not look like Las Vegas, what you're looking around here, but that's me. I live and work in Las Vegas. I'm an entertainer. I got my own website. So that's my other name, John Windsor. Most people know me as in this town. If you want to contact me about this car, and I hope you do, please somebody, I'm not, I don't know about selling it or doing anything else with it. I'd just like to know anybody who knows anything about it, anything interested in it. That's my email. You can contact me there. Ask me about this car. Tell me about this car, please. Anyone that knows anything more than I can find out about it, I'd be real, real happy. It's just something pretty special, and uh, hopefully we can get find out something about it. Thanks a lot, guys. I look forward to hearing, hearing from somebody, anybody. Let me know. Drop me a line. Thanks.